Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? So, Badger back with another Halloween update video. We're gonna talk about saving Halloween face paints and just get you guys to understand a little bit. I'm gonna keep it short and simple, and we're gonna get right to the point. So, I'll see you guys at the barber shop. So, we are back at the barber shop where all the magic's been happening, especially when it comes to Halloween face paints. So I'm gonna say here on October 12th, Halloween face paints are not active in game before you guys are spamming in the comments, are they in game, are they here, are they here? No, they're not, they're not here. Well, why do you have them? Because I bought them years ago for Halloween. So which is why I have the Halloween face paints already. So let's get into it. So this the sole purpose of this video is to show you guys how to force a game save and to get you to understand about how to save Halloween face paints. So we're gonna get into that and I'm also gonna say answer some questions that people tend to ask a lot when it comes to Halloween face paints relating towards the mad shop and the barber shop. Now we do not own the barbershop, nor do we own the mask shop, but when you buy items from the mask shop, it's going to automatically give you a check mark that says that you own such and such item, right? So you can automatically equip those items from your inventory. But when it comes to the face paints, you can't automatically equip face paints from your inventory. So you have to constantly keep going to the barbershop to change it up. So yes, Rockstar is money hungry, and they want you to spend your money to buy shark cards, basically. That's how they want by spend real money to get fake money. That's how that works when it comes to that in Rockstar Logic. So with the Halloween face paints, it's never gonna say that you own them, but to keep them forever, you have to buy them, which is why I have them. As you guys can see, we're gonna scroll through them. We're gonna scroll through all the Halloween face paints, even the 4th of July face paint. And 4th of July is long gone, and Halloween is coming up in the next two weeks, right? So these are the Halloween face paints that I bought over the years. And whatever you buy, you keep. You just have to make sure you buy them. So now I'm going to tell you guys how to force a game save. And this is what we're going to do. So all you need to do is buy the face paints at least once. Buying them at least once so you don't overly buy them means that you own them. I'm going to say that again. Buying all the face paints at least once means that you will own them for forever. But you have to make sure you buy them or buy the ones that you like only. Alright, so... With that being said, we're just going to basically swap our outfit and we're going to well, swap our face paint actually and force a game save. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put on Exposed Skull because everybody loves Exposed Skull. So let's do that. Let's put on expose. So what we're doing now is buying a face paint. So you can either buy 5, 10, or all of them and do this process. So this is what you'll do. Just imagine me buying all the face paints. Now from there, I put on Exposed Skull. I bought all the face paints and the last one that I put on was exposed skull. I'm gonna get out of the chair and I'm gonna stop here and open up my interaction menu and we're gonna swap our outfit. So open up our interaction menu, go to styles, go to outfits and change your outfit which will force a game save to pop up. You're gonna see an orange icon that's gonna pop up. So let's put on toxic denim. We're gonna put that on and then we're gonna close the interaction menu. Now you're gonna see your orange icon that popped up in the bottom right corner. That is a force game save, guys. A force game save. So that's how you save Halloween face paints. That's how you save them. That's all you do. That's all you do, man. That is a force game save right there. And I'm gonna get back in the chair to show you guys that I still have these face paints because I bought them. They're gonna always be here for me. These are the ones that I bought last year. So it doesn't say that I own them, as you guys see. It does not say that I own any of them, but I bought every last one of them at least once. I'm going to put back on Wicked Skull. You're going to always have to pay the barbershop lady to put on your face paint. There's going to always be a fee with that, but just make sure you buy all of them at least once to keep them forever. And then do that little trick by basically getting out of the chair, open up your interaction menu, swap your outfit, and force the game save to pop up, which is gonna be an orange icon in the bottom right corner. Orange icon, guys, remember that, bottom right corner. That's all you do. So this is Badger signing out. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be breezy, I'm out.